We need a pocket passer. Okay. Who, who, who do you think he would go to? I don't know a bunch of NFL prospects at the moment, but because this, I know this well, quarterback know, class well, listen, I don't know is pros- not very strong. Yeah, I don't know prospects. I don't know. I, I that's I have to look at it. Yeah. yeah. I, look, I, look. Eli Manning is nearing the end. You know, he's not been productive the last. Since I don't know, we were in high school. I mean, uh, all yeah, high school was terrible. Ball. Yeah, um, so he's kind of done. What about the Broncos? They're gonna hold on to Keenum for another yeah, year. Yeah, Case Keenum's kind of cold, dude. Uh, he didn't have the best year. He's probably yeah, no, he's promising. He's promising. Uh, they I, could use. I I I don't think they're gonna clean house just yet on him. No, no, no. I agree on that. They they paid him some cash, so. Um, but no, I think he's, he might go to the Giants. Uh, because uh, they're they're. They're we're low in their division, so they're uh, they. The, I mean, they're gonna get a high high pick. Oh, for round. sure. So um, if not, if not uh, the Raiders, you know, it could be the. I mean, it could be anybody. It could be the Cardinals. You think the Raiders? Cardinals have they, Rosen, they let Carr, Carr go. No, but I'm I'm just saying for who gets first pick, it could be. The, I, I don't. I haven't looked. The at Cardinals, the they have Rosen, but their new coach is trying to get rid of everybody and try to implement his own system. So that could be an option. The Jacksonville Jaguars. It's going to be a lot of drama until he gets like s- like settled down. Yeah. To his place. Jacksonville Jaguars are an option. Yeah. Did Raiders, you? Uh, should, uh, we're going to kind of. I don't know. I, I was going to kind of segue into. Um, I don't know if you saw the news about uh, Jalen Hurts. Well, back, I guess it? since we're done with the uh, Kyler, I mean, I mean it's, what? However, y'all segment. feel. Y'all leave a comment. See yeah. What, say what y'all just, think. Just just tweet us and and. Uh, just, just let us know what we think. Yeah. We'll talk about it next time. But um, y- y'all heard the news about Jalen Hurts. He's on the uh, transfer pool now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? Transfer pool. Be- he okay, he'd be but, an idiot not to. Yeah, he'd be an idiot. Here's my thing. And we said this when he said that he would stay after he he, uh, he could still transfer and he, he decided to stay, even though he didn't have the job. My thing was, I, I I respected that so much because he stayed for the team, right? He mm-hmm. stayed to lead the team, play with his teammates that he'd been playing with for you know years, and I mean this guy was this guy was all all SEC. I mean he's SEC Player of the Year. He literally has lost two games in his career, uh. took him to two national championships, mm-hmm. and he just got he had he had a bad half. If he would have had a good half in last year's championship against have. against Georgia. We wouldn't even know but, about Tua. But you don't know. He could have beat him in a quarterback battle over the summer. There's yeah, he no could, telling. He could have. But, but I'll tell you what. If Jalen Hurts wins that national championship game, not, it's not even going to be in the conversation. I mean, it, n- Nick Saban would be it's Nick not Saban. Be and, that, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know what I you know mean. But, but um, yeah, I, I think that, that half of football changed Alabama for a long time. That whole offense has changed just because of that one half. Yeah. The whole offense is 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 different now. Um, but uh, yeah, I I don't know. I, I don't want to see him go to another now. team. But you're right, he would be an idiot <laughs> for, for not transferring. I mean, it's his last year to play football. Yeah. He's, I don't really see him as an NFL player, the, though. I can't see him. No, I think he's just going to play. Yeah, I don't. He's got. He's no, working but, for his but, masters right now for something. His masters. Yeah, he's a graduate. Really, it's his fifth year. He said he's got eight no. years. No, <laughs> he's not. He's yes. not. He's not a fifth year senior. Yes, he is. He is not. I'm almost positive. He should be like a junior, or a senior this year. I'm almost positive. No, he's at least a senior. If not, he's. This is a fifth year. This is his third year playing football. He was a true freshman t- three years ago. True freshman? Yeah, true freshman, not a red shirt. Well, it's his last year to play football. He's not going to sit on the bench behind to attack of a low. No. What about, where do the he, Clemson but if, board? But if Tua... Uh, uh, Trevor uh, Lawrence? Uh, or, uh, uh, Brian. Kenny Bryant. Who is it, FSU? Uh, what? Ar- I thought it was Arkansas. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was Arkansas. I don't know. Um, yeah, no. Oh, don't even get me started about Trevor Lawrence. That dude. He's so good. All right, but back to the Hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I've seen a lot of stuff about Texas schools, just because he's from Houston. So I, I've heard U of H. I've heard yeah, uh, yeah, U of TCU. H, TCU. I haven't heard I've, TCU. I've heard Florida. I've heard Florida because they're gonna need to replace Felipe Franks. I was thinking my my honest opinion. I think he needs to go to OU. They yeah. don't have Kyler just left. 
They don't have like a, a big name. A and M. Well, I would love man. that, but he's he would have to battle with Mon. But oh, you oh, battle with Mon, dude! Battle with <laughs> Mon. That would not be a battle. No, I know, but Mon. oh, Jimbo Fisher would take him yeah. with open arms because he fits the offense. Yeah. But you have double to eagle pro. Too. It's Mon's Mon. not going to give it up like that. Yeah. Our, yeah. our 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 offense this year was very close to how Alabama's offense. Time was. out. Rewind. This is back to what I was saying. OU, because they don't have a quarterback right now. No yeah. name, dude. I mean, I'm sure they have some backup. No, no, no. They have somebody that very they've resembles had, Kyler Murray, I bet. They've had two Heisman winners in the last two years. Why not go in there? He, he will most... First of all, that's insane. Two quarterbacks at the same school when the, winning the Heisman back-to-back? That's nuts. I mean, I don't see why not. Let him get some good numbers. He could potentially be an NFL quarterback. You don't know. He just has to work more on his passing because he can do it with his speed. He has good vision. He just got to be able to make the throws. He he makes the right reads. It's just his accuracy has been inconsistent. He's like Dak Prescott. I, I, if I can make a similar, That's not because a he's That's an he no, it's not. He's yes. a B quarter. He's a B rated quarterback. He's like a B minus. I'd say a D, but all right. Listen, listen. I hate the Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can say what you want about the Cowboys. Okay, no, no. Okay, Dak no. Prescott it's, it's has the changed Cowboys. that program. It's not that I hate the Cowboys. Cowboys fans. Yeah. Oh, you hate me. I'm America's team. Y'all haven't been America's team for 20 freaking no, no, no. years. They'll lose like for 20 years. We're going to win the Super Bowl next year. <laughs> we're we're going to win the Super Bowl last year. Hey, we were following the Texans. So. Hey, we're still America's team. Hey, we're going to follow the regular Texans. season record. Uh, ten wins at least. No, nine. Nine wins, really? Lose that. <clears throat> well, no, I love hearing the... Shannon Sharp talk about the Cowboys fans. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. But hey, we could talk about Kellen and Jalen. I don't think it would be that easy. He wouldn't just I say it would be so easy. easy. Jalen Hurts is is highly underrated. Dude, because Jalen Hurts. Do you understand how strong that man? Did we just talk about strength here? Just strength. Like what do you mean? But like you just said press? he can't. Strength. You just said he can't make those deep passes or whatever. Okay, you can kill him on. Let's yeah, be really Mon. honest with ourselves. Kill him on. Let's let's, let's, let's forget all biases aside that we're in MC. Let's just forget that. All biases aside, Kellen Mond is just as inconsistent, if not more, than Jalen. I was, oh, I was definitely. More I love Kellen Mond during yeah. like the regular game, but when it's crunch time, no, he's he second guesses himself and he like. No, I don't takes know a what, second. I don't know what no, that's exactly him. what he does. Yeah. He second guesses and he gets in his head. Okay, well, and he's, he's, up. he's not an Alabama prospect like uh, Jalen Hurts. Yeah, <laughs> he played at Reagan. Come on, who did? Uh, Kellen Mond. No, he went to was it IMG or he IMG. played at Reagan IMG. and then he went to IMG. Yeah, he, he was a Reagan IMG prospect. Yeah. He played yeah, at Reagan before IMG. You don't have to be like, Osborne. You don't have to be. I mean, IMG's really good. Don't get me wrong, but. No, in order to get to IMG, you have to like in order for them to accept you, you have to have like multiple college offers. Yeah, you got. Like, I mean, you got to be good, but not not Jalen Hurts good. No, you don't. You don't have to be. I mean, not like, all. You know, Logan Compton went to IMG. No. Tied in from Ranch. Anyways, he's at Baylor now. Hey, not everything's about Ranch, dude. I'm just saying. But like, he was. I don't think that's dude, anything. He left after one year. He left after one year because he wasn't like good enough. But he was good enough to get in. You know what I'm saying? Alright, anyway, so that was a weird sidetrack there. You get, it sounds like that's like a personal thing. You're like really <laughs> sad about that. You're like, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm yeah, saying you like, get kicked out. Like, you, like, you don't have to be like, not every IMG person is Alabama prospect. No, absolutely. No, but they're D1 prospect. Yeah, 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 for sure. No doubt. Absolutely. No, no IMG player is going D2. No. Unless they're in trouble. Okay, so uh, we'll keep up with that. Is um, it commercial break time? Seth, go ahead, man. Okay. It's all you. This all is right, huge. This is so yeah. huge. Guys, huge sale. Huge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Hey, so you, you, you hit up magnetlycases.com and enter the promo code THE THRONE ROOM in all caps. And it's about a 15 20% discount. All right? Spell on what? Out Spell it out. You on, say on, on what? On a nine. <laughs> You're on really a protective, scratch-proof, magnetic case. Oh my gosh, beautiful! Guys. These beautiful. cases, Make sure it glows your phone up. These it ca- looks listen, beautiful. By the way, as as founder of this podcast and this brand, I'd like to say one thing. I am so proud of us for getting a good fan base, a weekly fan base. This is our first sponsor <laughs> on the podcast. This is our first podcast sponsor. Okay. 
right here. Set, shake my hand. Boom. Y'all hear that? I know you heard that. Right there. First sponsor on the throne room, guys. These cases are dope, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, Magnetly. Yeah, we sold out you can literally, yeah, you can, you, yeah, you yeah. can literally like hit it with a freaking axe <laughs> and it just slide off like water on like a bird's face. Let me go ahead and spell for you. M-A-G-N-E-T-L-Y cases.com. Go to the website. Check it out. The it's website heavy. looks... It's, it's real simple. It's real simple. Beautiful it's phone cases for, for iPhones iPhone and Samsung. Uh, all iPhones and all Samsungs. There we go. Even though Android's a little, eh, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. Uh, and hey, on Android. use use uh, the promo code the Throne Room for what? All discount? caps. Discount. What was uh, that? What was so that? originally it's for sale for twenty five. But no, no, no. what was the discount? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so it was originally okay. for sale for twenty five. But if you use a discount. It's on sale for twenty bucks. Oh, 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 five oh. bucks off. Yo, dude, like you could save five bucks on your phone case, and you can go buy like some McDonald's, some nugs, dude. Oh, don't even get me started about those. Nugs. Go to Taco Bell, some Chalupa, bro. Okay, anyway, so use promo code yep. the Throne Room. Get your phone, get your phone case, discount. guys. I don't, I don't think you can get a better phone case for twenty bucks. No, I'm just can't. saying, you can't. I'm just saying, ships right to you. Yep. It's beautiful. Love it's it. Text. Love it huge. Magnetly dot magnetly cases dot anyway. com. All right, <laughs> gosh, first sponsor. There we go. I just love it. Okay, so go check them out. Just look um, at them. See what they got to this, offer. This, this, this is one of those things. What, what are you gonna do? Protect your phone? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta hold it. You gotta use it without a case. What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's recap. Uh, any more questions? Oh, oh, oh what well, the, 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 the freaking Conor McGregor thing. Oh, okay, yeah. well. Okay, so I'm going to give a shout out to whoever asked this. i got to find it. Because if you ask a question, you get shouted out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we have another order. All right. Come in. All right. Here we go. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. All right, okay. Two orders in one day. It's okay, bad, Geek Eerie Podcast 2.0 asked okay. us. What do you think will happen to MMA if McGregor gets arrested? Alright, so I'm not very familiar with this subject. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy watching MMA, but I don't know a lot about all the info and just everything going on with it, like, constantly. But. Well, then let me go first. Yeah. Okay. So, forget he said anything about that. Listen. Anybody Anybody know Juan Thomas? Here's what. Here's what's gonna happen. I don't freaking know. Shout out to Juan Thomas. Juan Thomas. Shout out to Juan. Juan Thomas with the order, baby. Shout, Shout out to Juan, Juan Thomas. Everybody, look up. Look at Juan that. One Thomas. day, that's how much I've done in sales. What? Fifty-four bucks. Fifty-four bucks, dude. Dude, that's pretty that's solid. Profit. Dude, so that's profit. I, I make about. I make, I make your, over, uh, I, investment, right? I probably make about what sixty percent profit. So mm. I'd probably say. Yeah, All right, back okay. in anyway. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut that out. Okay, probably not. We'll, we'll cut it in both. Right, here we go. Listen, listen here, folks. What happens if McGregor gets arrested? He's not. I wouldn't say he's the top dog, but he's interchangeable. He's the face of MMA. He's interchangeable one and two. And yes, that's exactly right. He is the face of MMA. When you think MMA, you think Conor McGregor. And I don't. You think, think Dana White? Okay. You think those two interchangeable? If he gets arrested, first of all, that's huge news. He bail out, obviously, but it's huge news. Someone else it gives the, the listen, publicity. Listen, listen, what happens? What happens when you take air out of a water bottle? It turns into a vacuum, and, it, and the water it bottle rushes. shrinks and sucks up. Listen, there's a hole that would that would become in the MMA that somebody would need to step up and fill. I don't think some I think some young guy would need to step up and fill that hole and be that top dog. Interchangeable one two. When you so so instead of Conor McGregor, because he'd be in prison. You think of some other prison guy. Prison or jail, just jail. arrested. It's just both. It is a question. You get out on bail, pay his fines, whatever. Listen, but you probably wouldn't be able to, you'd be suspended, too. I yeah. don't think you can be in jail. Well, you want to hear my take on it? Mm-hmm. I don't think it would affect at all, really? the MMA at all. I think, if anything, it would help it. It gets the MMA, Conor McGregor plastered all, oh, plastered it, all over the news. Yeah. Hey, bad advert, or. I mean, I don't know if it'd be good for it. Bad advertising is good advertising. Yeah. I mean, everybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's getting familiar with the name. They want to go yeah, yeah. check out what's and, and going then, on. And then they provoke, or not provoke, promote. They, but then, yeah, and then they promote the fight. So yeah. So uh, bad promotion is good promotion. I agree. No, no, no. Uh, Seth, what's your take? I really have no clue what the whole. All right. Anyway. Going on. <laughs> I, no, no, like no, the whole. He's, like, just, he's just getting mad at people. It's just like he's throwing temper tantrums, basically throwing stuff. at 
Hey,